Hello students. Hope you all are fine and safe safe at home. And I hope you all have already begun studying for your semester. Children, today we shall be learning a new unit that is air around us. A breath of fresh air is a great thing to take. and an even better thing to be i repeat a breath of fresh air is a great thing to take and e an even better thing to be unit 9 air around us children do you know how do fishes breathe or how do fish breathe or take in air present in the water They take in air present in the water through their gills. They breathe in through their gills. Fish take in air present in the water through gills. The red thing that you can see is gills. What is moving air called? Moving air is called wind. Children, air is present everywhere. I already told you we cannot see it or we cannot touch it. Air has no taste, it has no smell, but we can feel air <coughs> only when it moves. So, moving air is called wind. We need air to breathe. And without air we cannot live in the same way plants and animals too require air to breathe we can only see the moving air and that is called the wind and that too, and that also we can see when the kites are flying when the trees are flying or anything flying we can see that wind we say see the moving wind we do not say see the air okay we feel moving air in the class i have showed you how to prepare a paper fan and we have already done an exercise an activity of keeping our hand in front of our mouth then blowing on our hand we feel the air on our hand and you also feel air when you you fan yourself with a hand fan so when we fan ourselves with the hand fan the same way i have taught you to make a hand fan with the paper we can feel the air stand in front of a working table fan do you feel the air on your face yes you can feel air when you stand in front of a working table when you stand in front of a working table fan so we can feel the air and we need air to breathe we can feel the moving air with the help of the paper fan or table fan uses of air is very useful for us children it's very very useful for all of us it helps us in following ways let us see air <coughs> is required to fly the kites without air we cannot fly the kites and there is no use of preparing the kite no use of preparing the kite or flying it up without air it does not go up high up in the sky it falls down back next to turn the fan of a windmill these we find in the hilly areas the mount uh, sorry the turbines we call them the turbines also okay wind windmill sorry we don't call turbine we call the windmill to turn the fan of a windmill we require air only if there is air we can find the windmill bo uh, turning around fan of the windmill turning around 
to move sail boats sail boats in the seas we see to move that we require air to move gliders to move gliders also we require air okay gliders are the thing where we uh, most of them have not done it but most of us have interest i think so i at least get scared i am not interested in all that but most of you must be feeling like to go on the gliders they go up in the sky with the help of the glider <coughs> to burn a fire we require air to burn a fire you you always notice when you light a fire and then suddenly air blows the fire uh, starts burning more fastly okay that is why the fire requires air to dry the clothes to dry our clothes obviously we require air hot sun also to dry our clothes to fill the air in cycle tire we need to fill the air in the cycle tire that is why air is important aeroplanes require air to fly up in the sky helicopters require air hot air balloons these all require air to fly up in the sky air becomes dirty how does air become dirty air becomes dirty from dust smoke from vehicles cars buses and smoke from factories make the air very dirty when we burn the garbage that also dirties the air see burning of garbage and dry leaves also gives out smoke and makes the air dirty then we breathe in this polluted air we breathe in this polluted air and we fall sick so to protect or to keep clean the air what we should do clean air we need clean air to breathe breathing in dirty air makes us sick we should keep the air clean trees clean the air how to keep the air clean now trees clean the air every year on our birthday one thing we can do is plant a tree we should grow more trees to keep the air fresh and clean when the air is fresh and clean then we will not fall sick we will not breathe in the dirty air but we will breathe in clean air so to clean the polluted air we need to grow more trees he who plants a tree plants a hope i repeat grow more trees to keep the air fresh and clean he who plants a tree plants a hope so plant a tree on your birthday every year you can plant a hope for the clean air the polluted air will become less and we can breathe in the clean air children if you have not understood or you if you have any doubts you can contact me in time thank you children